Hey girl, now, you know that I do not like to gossip. I know that I have been covering Trisha Paytas' stories and I, I kind of decided not to cover her last videos for several reasons, okay? Here is my theory, and then I will get into the rest of the video, but here is my theory, conspiracy, you know, allegedly, and all that good stuff, okay? So for me, I have a feeling that Trisha Paytas is really, really, really working hard, girl, on getting a freaking series with Shane Dawson. Now, I've said this before. I've, I'll say it again. I think that she's really working on that. I think this girl, she's smart. She knows how to manipulate feelings and do stuff to be able to get what she wants. One example, H3, I think that's how you say his name. I don't even know. H3 Podcast. They have a podcast, him and his beautiful wife. He has done some stuff in the past that I have not agreed with. But here's the thing. Him and Trisha Paytas had something in common, okay? They would like troll, all right? And this is something that Trisha Paytas in her last video was kind of, she admitted to it finally that she would troll or whatever, but now she's saying that she ain't trolling about all these mental health issues. Girl, boy who cried wolf, girl who cried wolf. That's what it is. So you've got to build up. I could go into a whole rant. Anywho, that's a whole nother video. So, what I was, what was I going to say? So, I think that when, because she went and she was harassing that, harassing that H3 guy, and she kept harassing him and harassing him, I mean, allegedly, on Twitter, adding him and everything, just like she did with Keemstar too, right? And he ended up making a video about her. Got her a little bit of a spotlight. And here's the thing. I don't think that she cares if it's good publicity, bad publicity, or whatever publicity. I think as long as people talking about her, she's all right. Okay, so my theory is, and y'all can timestamp this and then mark my words. I think that she's trying to get a series from Shane Dawson. That's what I think. Now, here's the thing, Okay. I know that a lot of people have already been talking about Shane Dawson, which upsets me because y'all know how much I love Shane Dawson. Now, he is friends with Trisha Paytas, right? Now, a lot of people have been saying that he shouldn't be friends with her. He should talk with her, whatever, you know, and do it publicly and blah, 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 blah. Okay. Now, y'all already know for if y'all if y'all real and y'all watch my last videos, y'all already know that I said that I don't agree with that, okay? Just because they're friends with somebody doesn't mean that they should, you know, be put on the chopping block with their friend. Now, mind you, they should say something if they really a friend. That's what I think. I mean, a real friend's going to tell you straight up, right? And we don't know if that happens because a real friend would not do it publicly to disgrace you. They would do it privately, okay? So that's that, right? Now, if Shane Dawson does end up doing a series with Trisha Paytas, I really, I mean, he, Shane Dawson, if you listen it, you really should think about, now, I know that he likes to do questionable and controversial things. I know that. So this just might be the one that he gonna do and that is, he's gonna wanna do it. Girl, I'm telling you, that's what I think. My conspiracy, my theory, allegedly, you know, blah, 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 blah. Now, on Instagram, Trisha Paytas posted emails, and I'm going to put up the receipts, girl, so you can see them right here. So, posted emails that she began. Now, number one, okay, I know that Trisha Paytas has upset the DID community. I get that, girl. I get it. I'm upset too, and I'm not even part of the DID community. Now, anytime that you wish the D word and not the one that you're thinking of, probably, girl, get your mind out the gutter. If you wish the D word on somebody, I don't agree with that. I do not agree with that. Don't send any D threats to anybody, even if it's Trisha Paytas. Now, I know people are upset. I know that there have been systems within the DID community. They've had more altars split off because of this. Now, that is damaging. And I, if Trisha Paytas don't see that, obviously, because she came out with two videos, 
I was going to do a reaction to him, but I don't want to give her no more attention. She's over here crying and whining on her YouTube videos about, oh, everybody making videos about me and, and all of my business is out on social media and why everybody care. Girl, if you wouldn't put it out there, then nobody would care. Nobody would even know. <sighs> See, this is why I didn't do a reaction video because I'm just going to be upset. Anywho, what was I talking about, girl? I just, I, I'm just going off on a whole rant over here because it's just so triggering. Oh, so I'm not going to do the reaction video for obvious reasons. I don't need her trying to accuse me of like stressing her out and her system that she's claiming that she has. I don't even need that. You know, I, um, it, it, I know she need help. She do need mental help. So go on and get it, girl. Get off the internet. Enough is enough. You're done dragging it. You just need to quit. Trisha Paytas, you just need to stop, girl. You just need to stop. Anywho, so she goes on and she's posting these uh, emails that people are sending her with all these D threats, right? And one of them was Glitter Forever 17. Now, I saw it and I was like, what? Because if you are a fan or, you know, you watch Breland, Glitter Forever 17, she goes by Breland now, um, you would know that she made a video recently talking about YouTubers that hate her. Now, I was upset because she mentioned Shane Dawson and y'all know how I feel about Shane Dawson already. I mean, if I didn't say it once, I'll say it again and I'll say it 20 million times. I love Shane Dawson, okay? Now, so when she said that, I was a little bit disappointed. Well, I was a lot disappointed in her. But then she mentioned Trish, Trisha Paytas and I was like, well, I mean, from the rumors that go on on the street, you know, from what I've heard on the block, Trisha Paytas ghost people. So, she, in, in her video, in Glitter Forever 17's video, Breland's video, she talks about how she emailed Trisha Paytas. Trisha Paytas never responded to her, right? And so she said, oh, she probably hate me or whatever. Well, when I saw Trisha Paytas recently post on her Instagram that Glitter Forever sent her a very, very ugly, nasty email. You can see that they used, you know, the, the Glitter Forever 17 and all this kind of stuff. Now, today, today, girl, Breland is on top of her shiznit. So today, um, Breland posted a video on her channel, on her YouTube channel, addressing Trisha Paytas' Instagram story, alleging that she, Breland, from Glitter Forever 17, sent that email. Now, so Glitter Forever goes on a rant, girl. I mean, I like watching her channel, but I think it's the same shock value that you get from Trisha Paytas and from people like Nick Akato Avocado and, I mean, all these other people. So, she addresses it, and I'm going to include... Uh, her video, a part of her video on here because I don't know Breland, y'all. I mean, I've watched her a little bit, but I don't know if she's going to flag my channel. It's already I'm taking a risk at talking to y'all about all this stuff because I know Trisha Paytas flags channels. And I know she's been seeing videos because she said it. So here's Breland's video. I hope to God that I don't get a strike or that I don't get demonetized, whatever. But here you go. The first thing that I saw yesterday was, why would you say that to Trisha Paytas? what it says and I saw this at first and then I scrolled up and then I got another one that said I know this is not you but someone sent this to Trisha acting like you and then I read it I also wanted to mention that she had posted the email address that this came from and it said like Breland Abdiv business at gmail.com that's not even my email I started reading my Twitter messages and I was just like oh my gosh are you kidding me people actually think that I said this that it's me I've also had some people accuse her of sending the message to herself to start drama. I don't know. I'm literally a blind ass bat in this situation. I just checked my Twitter and then all of a sudden people are starting to hate me again. So this is from um, fake YouTubers 19 on Twitter. Okay. My sources said that after you made that last video on the kitchen floor, she wrote this message. She did it to start drama because she hates you. I decided to address it on Twitter and I was thinking maybe it would just like blow over or whatever. And I said, just wanted to let you know this email supposedly from me and I, I posted the screenshot from me to Trisha Paytas is fake. Some little is trying to cause drama between her and I. 
Don't believe everything you see. Remember, it's the internet. Also have nothing but love for Trish, which is true. I still have love for her. Trish, I don't hate you, and I don't know why you'd hate me. I, I said, hey girl, just wanted to let, and I'll, I'll put a screenshot up here. You wanna read along with me? Here's the one that I sent to her on Instagram, because I figured, you know, she's on Instagram. She checks her DMs. Like I said, I tried to reach out to Trish. No word back. She did not respond. She did not delete that, even after I sent her a message, which I don't know if she got it or not. So, uh, that's where we are at this moment. All of my work for the past months of trying to regain some kind of respect from the internet, pretty much starting to swirl down the toilet because of this. That's what she had to say about that. She said it wasn't her. She reached out to Trisha Paytas for, you know, forgiveness or whatever. And, um, I don't know. What do y'all think about it? I mean, there's people that are saying that Trisha Paytas sent it to herself to start drama because she don't like Breland and that maybe she seen that video that Breland made on her channel about the YouTubers and specifically naming Trisha Paytas that don't like her girl. Now, I don't know about y'all, but it's really, really weird because if this is the lengths that YouTubers go through to be able to like create drama and keep up views and all that, girl, I would be tired. I would be so tired. Like, how are you going to think of all this crazy stuff and be like, ooh, I'm going to email myself because that girl made a video about me and I'm going to, you know what, I'm going to play the victim and I'm going to go ahead and let all my subscribers just go ahead and attack this girl and that way the fingers ain't going to be pointing that much on me no more. They're going to be pointing on her. It's called diversion. You know what I'm saying? This is the kind of stuff that I noticed on her videos. Manipulation. Play into the audience. Trying to act like if you need sympathy. You know, and stuff like that. There was so many things. And I, when I was watching it, I had a pause it. And I was just calling it out. I was screaming at my phone. Because I was just up in arms about all of it. Now, I have been um, getting some people that have been asking about Encina Severa. Who is Trisha Paytas' ex-girlfriend. Who Trisha Paytas did talk about again in her recent videos. Saying, alleging that she made a video. I don't know. Maybe she saw her Instagram story. I don't know. But anywho, there ain't no video. All I know is that she said that there was a video by her ex that she was in love with and all this kind of stuff. But there ain't no video. I spoke to Encina Severa. I sent her a message. She sent me a message back. She said that Edwin Generations, and that's who y'all need to go subscribe to, that he's got to wait for YouTube. He sends in his videos and they have to like go over stuff already. Now y'all already know with this, you know, whole virus going around, people ain't working. There's people that are quarantined. I'm quarantined, you know? And so there's, I'm pretty sure that the people at YouTube are quarantined too. Now it's probably going to take a while. God only knows. I mean, I just say release the video, but I know that he wants to make sure that everything's going to come out okay. So he sends it over to YouTube. Now she did say, Encina Severa said that they will be releasing a video and that now that there's two more videos, which are the ones that Trisha Paytas recently made and that First video is going to be posted on Edwin's channel once it's approved by YouTube. I guess his management or whatever, you know, when you a big wig, you get a manager. I ain't that big. So anyway, once it's posted on his channel, then they're going to post the other one on her channel. So y'all just need to wait. Y'all need to subscribe to Encina Severa and to Edwin's Generation. If y'all, Generations, I don't even know. But y'all need to subscribe to them so that that way y'all can see the video the minute it drops and turn on your notifications. Just like you should be doing here. I mean, dang, you're here already. Might as well, right? Anywho, um, so that's all I wanted to say today. Um, let me know what y'all think about the situation. Let me know if you think that Trisha Paytas did send the email to herself or maybe, you know, I don't know. Maybe, you know, if you think that Glitter Forever 17 did send that email or if you just think it's a troll that's just trying to drum up some drama because they bored at home, you know, in quarantine or whatever and they ain't got nothing better to do than to start some drama between some YouTubers. Like, let me know what you think down in the comments. I'll see y'all next time. Bye. Dang, I can't even turn off my dang thing.